Hey guys, it's Sam. So today I have no makeup on, obviously. I actually just rolled out of bed, which explains the hair. Um, and I feel a little better about actually coming on camera without makeup. Now, if you look back to like my first videos, you're going to see how broken out my skin was and how bad my acne was. And that wasn't even in like HD, so imagine if it was. I mean, it was pretty bad. So now you can see the majority of my issues are scarring, which I can deal with. Um, I don't have any actual zits on my face at the moment, which to me is a miracle because I've always kind of had zits on my face. And I've been using the Retin-A Micro 0.1% and I said I was going to do weekly updates when I first started Retin-A. And I think I did a week 3 or week 4 and then I stopped. And the reason for that was I wasn't getting the results I wanted and I didn't know what was going on and what was what I was doing wrong. So up until last week I was actually having fairly bad breakouts. So I ran and I did, and this is TMI, um, did start my period last week so uh, some of that could have been hormonal. But I was having relatively bad breakouts but for the last, actually maybe a little more than a week, 10 days. I have kind of narrowed down my skin and makeup routine. I don't know if I said this, but I've been on it eight weeks now. So I'm at the two month point and my skin has gotten continually better. My skin is a lot smoother and a lot of my really bad acne scars, like I had some super bad ones right here and um, right here have really faded and I'm still battling with a lot of scars. This was a spider bite um, actually that got really bad and so um, it's now healing but actually the retin has helped a lot with that scarring as well so that is working plus I changed my morning routine so like I said I was using acne free severe I feel like I'm like totally rambling here but I switched to the Peter Thomas Roth blemish buster kit so I bought it's like a little sample sizes of a lot of the Peter Thomas Roth products and there's three that I've been using consistently and really really liking and the first one is the Beta Hydroxy Acid 2% Acne Wash. I use this in the morning. This does have um, sodium lauryl sulfate, which I know is not that great, but it actually has been really good for my skin lately. So um, it says gently exfoliating, oil free, dye free, fragrance free, alcohol free, silic acid 2%. And since all the treatments I've used prior have been mainly benzoyl peroxide, um, I noticed I was still breaking out. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try a different morning treatment. Maybe that'll help, and it seems to have helped a lot. So I've been using this, and then I use the blemish buffing beads. And I absolutely love these things. Like this will be something I definitely repurchase because they just work so well. And it even cuts down how oily I get during the day, I feel like. So I highly recommend these, and I'm gonna go buy the full bottle like today. Then I've been using the AHA BHA Acne Clearing Gel, and this is maximum strength succinic acid 2%, pore minimizing acne treatment and anti-aging benefits of a glycolic acid 10% complex. And so I've been using these three together in the morning, so I wash my face basically the two different cleansers, one's an exfoliant and then applying this, so I'm not using my Clarisonic anymore in the morning. At night, I use my Cervi moist, no, Moisturizing Lotion. Did I grab the wrong bottle? I did grab the wrong bottle. Um, Cervi Foaming Cleanser. It basically just looks like this bottle, but it's green um, on the front. I think it's like flowers or something. And then I use that with my Clarisonic to take off my makeup. And um, I go back once over with it just with the pump of the CRV to make sure, um, CRV to make sure I get off all the makeup and then I use my Retin-A micro gel to about 10 to 15 minutes and I let that dry and that's it for my night routine. So I've kind of changed it significantly and so far it really seems to be working. I'm liking the Peter Thomas Roth products. I would actually go and buy all three big sizes of this because I feel like this does the first cleaning I need in the morning which is to get all the oil because you can see it actually on my face now, all the oil off my face and then this really exfoliates my face and then this really helps clear my face throughout the day. So I absolutely love all the products I've been trying and so Retin-A is finally, I think I found what's working for me and granted it's only been 10 days. They say to wait 12 weeks to see full results so <laughs> 
excuse me, I have um, about four weeks left to see my full results. So I'm curious to see. It's consistently gotten better and it's really helped my scarring and my skin texture even out. I've noticed when I apply makeup, it goes on a lot smoother. So yes, that is my very long-winded Retin-A two-week update. So you guys can see, if you want to look back at some of my first videos, you'll notice a lot worse active acne and this is just all scarring at this point. So I'm going to do a how I'm dealing with the scarring pretty soon video. Um, once I feel like this is really truly working and I'm not going to be battling active breakouts um, that much anymore, maybe a couple when I'm hormonal, but other than that, none, uh, I will start really focusing on getting rid of the scarring. So, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions or comments, please write below, and thanks always for watching. Bye.